Let's get started with making your own Google site. First, you'll want to log into your Google Drive or your Gmail and click on the grid at the top right of that browser and from there go to Sites. It should land you on a page much like this and you'll see the Create button to the left. Click to Create and I would suggest to start off with choosing the blank template. We'll get into more of the design process in a bit in the next videos, but for now, trust me with this. Some of the gallery ones are really nice and slick looking, but later on you'll get really frustrated trying to make changes to some templates that don't give you a lot of flexibility in the design. You'll want to name your site, whatever you're going to be using it for. I'm going to call mine SCN Digital Media. This will be a course page for my classes. Um, under More Options, um, you can give your site a category, like I might call mine Art Education, Technology in Arts, um, and you can add more descriptors as you want to. Maybe I could add SEN or North, so that way it's searchable within the organization. Um, you'll also want to give your site a description. That way, again, people know what they're at your site for. Go ahead and click Create. As your site is generated, it's going to bring you to your home page. Um, and from here, we're going to look at creating our next pages and deciding on our site hierarchy. So with that, you'll want to sit down and actually plan out and map out your website. What do you plan to house on your site and how do you plan to organize that? Think through the needs of the user. Is the user your students? What are they going to your website for? Is the user your parents or other teachers or staff in your building um, or the district? So think about those. What are the needs of these people um, and how are they going to think about accessing that information on your website? So for myself, I wanted to have a landing page um, that'll be my home page and maybe have announcements that can be out there for all of my students and all of the parents. From there I want to have a course page for each level that I teach and under each of those I'm going to have a course syllabus, a calendar, and then a series of units. Underneath that each one is going to have some sub pages for each of those units. For example, the quote poster project, the album art project, and so on and so forth. Um, with that, the sidebar navigation, knowing I'm going down three levels, is my best choice um, to have this many things displayed. Um, if I wanted to have more than three levels displayed that actually cannot be displayed in a horizontal navigation bar, you can only go down two levels of drop downs. Um, on a horizontal nav bar. So I'm going to keep that horizontal nav bar for myself just to have a home page link for my own website, back to my school's website, and back to the district's website. So knowing this and having this mapped out, knowing what my end user is going to need um, and how to best organize that information, I'm going to go to my site and actually start to make these pages.